What's up, guys? Rancho's back. Thanks for tuning into the 420 Smoke Stop. Um, so, as a lot of you guys know, I'm a recovering alcoholic. I have been off the sauce for just over six and a half years. So, tonight is the first of three days away from home. Uh, we're out of town for my brother-in-law to be uh, for his bachelor party. And um, so they've all gone down to the pool. I'm not much of a swimmer. And um, so I thought this was actually the perfect opportunity to do this. Um, so I haven't had a drop of alcohol in over six and a half years. I don't drink alcohol. I don't vaporize alcohol. I don't uh, eat foods that have like wine vinaigrettes or anything else like that in them. Uh, just because normally the taste of that would throw me off. So tonight, I decided since we're all together, we're out of town, this might be a good opportunity to try one of these guys. So this is the Budweiser Prohibition Brew. It's a completely 0.0% .0 alcohol volume content non-alcoholic beer. But I don't know what it tastes like. I haven't even had non-alcoholic beer since I quit drinking. So this might be f a little fucked up. Pardon my French. So let's, let's just dive into it, man. Let's crack it. Okay. It smells like beer. It smells like good old regular, like regular Budweiser, regular Canadian. Same size, 341 milliliters with completely zero point zero percent alcohol content. So guys, cheers. Hmm. It tastes just like beer. Like regular beer. Have any of you guys tried this? If you have, what did you think? Please, please comment below. Tell me what you think. Could you do it? Could you not do it? Um, did it trigger you too much? Did it set you off? What's What happened? I want to know. It's... Some people say that when you're in recovery, it's not a good idea to drink even um, anything that's not alcoholic. So anything non-alcoholic like this, which resembles it because it can take you back, it can trigger you, it can set you off, it can give you anxiety, you can have panic attacks, especially if you're not around people. Right now I'm not around people, but they're just downstairs at the pool. Um, wow. Um, <laughs> I'm salivating a lot now. That's weird. Let's try this again. It's not bad. I can hear a bunch of bitches partying out over here. It's awesome. Okay, so, so far, I feel okay. I actually feel okay right now. Um, no shakes. Oh yeah, fucked up fingernail. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. I can... I mean, if all goes well, I can see myself drinking these, which is awesome. It's nice to actually have finally have an alternative now to doing all this drinking. 
Oh, shit. Well, thank you, Budweiser. I think. Don't quote me on that yet. <laughs> They're drunk. I don't know if you can hear I'm singing. But they sound like they're having a good time. I don't feel any anxiety yet. Like, you'd think that if you're going back to one of your vices and it couldn't do, it tasted and everything else like the original stuff, but didn't have any of the additive in it to make you inebriated, you think that might even set you off a little bit. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. Oh, my fault, man, my bad. Um, yeah, that's that's interesting. I'll, I'll be sure to do a part two um, after I've had enough time to sit with this for a bit. Um, yeah, wow. A little over six and a half years sober, and I can officially say I'm holding a Budweiser bottle in my hand that doesn't contain alcohol. At all. At all. Not even, even though Duels has 0.5%, this has zero. Zero point zero. So cheers, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna finish this up here and just kind of keep a tab on myself. Just make sure, you know, I just keep in check. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Thank you for all the support. I love you guys. And uh, if you are going to drink, just be safe. Leave your keys at home. Call a taxi. Get somebody to drive you. Walk if you can. Don't ride a bike. Um, but please, please be safe. Enjoy your alcohol responsibly if you are. I don't hate on anyone for drinking. Because if you can drink and have a good time and keep it in, you know, keep it moderate, go for it. It's awesome. All right, guys. If you were smoking during this episode, I'm sorry if I let you down because I wasn't smoking. But hey, you stay faded and medicated. I'm going to go burn one out right now. Peace out, guys. And I hope you guys have a great next 24. See ya.